trouble on the cooldown lap between Nelson Piquet and Brian Scott. And a lot of other activity going on in pit road. Yes, there he is. Brian, what just happened at the end of the race with you and PK? You know, unfortunately, we got caught up in that accident with 50 laps to go, and our, our teammate Austin got taken out, and I hate it for him because, uh, you know, we, we're both running for points. And we were just trying to limp home a finish. We are running 15th, and uh, Nelson, I don't know, for 15th place, decided he was going to move me, ran us up into the wall, did way more damage to our car than was already there. And when I went to talk to him, he, uh, he just pushed and shoved me and then, uh, and then kicked me below the belt, which I think is just... Uh, just a chicken move, and uh, I don't know. I guess we'll just we'll move on. Proud of these guys. They fought hard. We didn't have a fast enough, uh, fast enough Shore Lodge Camaro to do what we wanted, and we were just trying to limp home and get a get what we could. Brian, how do you deal with situations moving forward? You guys are going for the championship together every single week. How do you put it behind you, especially at a place like Talladega next week? Yeah, this isn't a just this race deal. He uh, he's got an issue with me from I don't know when. Uh, and he runs into me every week, and uh, I've kind of had it. And a little part of me told me uh, that he was going to hit me for 15th place. And then he did. Um, and I was just showing my displeasure with him after the race. And then, uh, you know, things escalated. I went to talk to him. I was a little heated, and then he, uh, the camera probably shows it, but he kicks me right below the belt, uh, which I think is a below-the-belt type shot. All right, thanks, Brian. Be contact between two drivers. Let's go for the other side of the story, Dave Burns. Uh, Nelson, describe what led to the contact on the track and off the track after the race. No, well, basically, I think a few laps to the end, uh, the two the two slid in front of me. I touched them. He went inside. We, we both nearly spun. I passed him. That was it. At the end of the race, got the checkers, went slow over there, and he door banged me. And I not he did the same thing to me in Martinsville just because I dived in the inside and I didn't. You know, I, I never touched him in the back in Martinsville. He got pissed off because of that. I let that go, but I'm not going to take any more crap from him. He seemed to think that you have a problem with him ongoing. Is there some issue over Martinsville and even past that? Well, Martinsville, obviously, he he tried to knock me off uh, after the race, which I didn't think I did anything bad in the race. I was just aggressive and overtaking guys three wide, okay, but I was going in the inside. I wasn't pushing people out, so... Uh, so I don't think that was good, and now him getting pissed off with me again, I'm not going to take it. Thanks for your side of the story, Alan. Uh, heated up down here on pit road after a very competitive race.